Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel and today we are doing your February channel readings. Now this is for the star sign of Scorpio, so you could be a Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter or Venus. Also if you are interested in a personal reading, please find uh, readings at discounted rate in MinervaTarot.com. Yes, the discounts are back. So all the links are in the description below. You can book a personal reading or give somebody you love a personal reading for Valentine's Day. Just saying. Just saying, Scorpio. All right. So let's see what's happening to our Scorpio in general for the month of February. Mm, this is nice. Okay. Two aces. All right, your underlying energy, emotional loss, and triumph. Looks like you tried to do things your way and you ended up being hurt. You tried to get things done. Things you wanted to take control of certain things, thinking you're going to fight it, you're going to change them, but you couldn't. So that has left you lost. That has left you hurt. Okay, that's your underlying energy. So this is the reason the Hierophant is here. Wisdom. Now you are wiser. You realize ultimately everything, good or bad, that is happening with us is because of divine intervention. If we are going through something bad, that is how we are paying off the debts of our past life. And if you are enjoying something good, that is because we are reaping the benefit of the good things we did in the past life. So no two lives are the same. Everybody has challenges. Life goes on and life changes only happen when it's supposed to happen, not when you want it. Okay, that is higher wisdom. That is spirituality. And that is what is coming towards you in the month of February. You are becoming wiser. For some of you, this could also mean you are growing spiritually. For some of you, this could mean you are reaching out. You are getting more name fame. You are reaching out to a higher group of people, higher mass of people. More people are reaching out to you. You could be getting a promotion. You could be rising in your organization. You could be working. You could get a break in a larger organization because this wisdom brings large changes. The Hierophant is about large changes. This is also life changes, okay? So for this can also mean marriage. This can also mean union. For So this wisdom or this wisdom in you can manifest in different ways for everybody because no two Scorpios will have the same life. So for some, this will be a new job opportunity. For some, this will be a promotion. For some, this could be marriage or talks of marriage. For some, this could be higher learning. For some, this could be even a PhD. For some, this could be um, spirituality. But it's definitely a step higher from where you are. Wherever you are, you're going up a step up. Now, whether mentally or physically or in real life or in spiritual life, that depends on you, your cycle, okay? Now, the challenge here is, Scorpio, you're not, it's the Four of Cups. You're not very happy with the changes that are happening. You're kind of bored. You want something else. Again, I see that control issue. It is about, but I didn't want this. I want that. So that is what we humans do. Usually we have a tendency of doing that. We, we are bought things that we deserve by the universe from time to time when the time is right. But we resist it, saying this is not what we were manifesting. This is what we were manifesting. So I want this and I'm not happy with this. Now that kind of mindset kind of sets back your manifestation. Because what happens is, then it's the universe's way of thinking is that when they do not appreciate what we get in their life, then I might as well stop bringing things in their life. So that is your discontent and your boredom is kind of not letting you enjoy this growth that you're getting. Maybe in a different quarter, maybe 
you're getting a growth where you do not want it and you want something else but at least appreciate it don't don't be dissatisfied or discontent with it okay whatever big and small is it's bringing towards you appreciate it so that other things can come towards you now you have two aces here what you shouldn't do is stop worrying about your success stop seeing trying to find the truth or the meaning behind everything not everything has a behind meaning don't try to decipher why this person is doing this for me why did this person say so why did this person react in this way what is the truth behind this because this is the ace of swords it's got a habit of finding the truth so stop doing that for a moment relax it back enjoy what you're getting instead of doubting why you've got it and why you why not anybody else Also don't look for instant gratification don't look for a success immediately don't feel what will i do with this i wanted this for example you got a promotion and you're like i wanted love what will i do with this promotion don't think that way enjoy the promotion say thank you universe so that a new love can also come in be grateful okay so don't run after your ace of swords instead focus on what you have so be grateful that's again it brings back to the same thing base chakra base chakra is your root it is about what do you own what do you have so first be grateful for the things you have stop craving for the things that you do not have this is like i want this i want this to feel achieve achievement don't feel that okay instead focus on things that you have and be grateful for them so that new things can come in in your life I see a lot of spiritual growth because you start with a hierophant and you're ending with a hermit. So, you're starting with a Taurian energy, you're ending with a Virgo energy because what is coming towards you is spiritual awakening and solitude. Maybe you your reactions and you will be surprised by the things happening in your life which can lead to you going silent. You're not liking to talk to people. Maybe you would like because you are the natural eighth house. So you have the tendency to learn about spirituality or hidden things of the world so you might get into that mode where you disconnect from the world and you know try to understand the meaning of why things are happening with you what are happening with you you might go into that mode you know i don't feel like talking to anybody i just want to be alone i want to process all that has happened with me in the past one year very natural very normal so that is what even your tarot is saying focus on things that you have be grateful for things that you have don't this is not the month to rush towards unraveling the truth behind why things happened and also to look for success success will follow first be thankful for the things that you have because right now you're not thankful you're bored you're like i didn't want this i wanted something else stop being in that mode things are coming towards you enjoy what is coming towards you once you start enjoying things that are coming towards you you will start seeing new things in your life okay Scorpio very spiritual reading for you. And so let's see what could be a bit discomforting for you this month and what could be good for you this month. Okay, what could be discomforting is Venus and the sun. Okay, and what could be comfortable is Saturn and the first hours. Told ya. All right. So what is not good this month? are not comfortable venus now you are scorpio you are ruled by mars okay venus libra is ruled by uh, venus now that is your 12th house so venus rules your 12th house also venus rules your 7th house taurus okay so over expectation from people my valentines day is coming my bay will give me this will give me that will give me that lock of that rock or will will charm me with this or i want because venus is all about material possessions it is all about my home my vehicle my jewelry my dress my shoe my 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 pradas and my jimmy shoes it's all about venus so that is not going to work for you in in this month scorpio if you are focusing too much and this could mean that you're expecting too much from your 7th house my partner will bring me this at least he can give me a you know french chocolates for uh, valentines day or at least she can buy me this so that expectation 
can pull you down because you will be you will not be happy with the result you may not be happy with the result venus is about material possessions it's about beauty you may not your partner may not be that pretty or that beautiful so be careful of that okay venus this is not the month for worldly possessions venus is worldly possession this is the month for focusing on work and spiritual possessions also the sun the sun is about your soul nobody can change the sun sign sun sign is something that drives you from deep inside that's the ego inside you so the sun is in leo leo becomes your natural um leo virgo 11 10th house okay leo is your 10th house so sun is also the destiny once you are aware that you are destined to go through this pain or you are destined to go through this happiness it's easy for us to accept but sometimes it is difficult for us to accept hard things in our life as destiny we are like why me so that could be a challenge for you this month anything to do with the sun check your chart see where the sun is right now the sun is in uh capricorn it will move to aquarius in the middle of um february as per vedic sidereal so till the time it's in capricorn now for scorpio Uh, this becomes your uh, third house. So third house is about courage, neighbors, siblings, motivation. So with the sun and Saturn sitting there, you might find turmoils there. You might find uh, clashes with people. You might find yourself difficult to talk to people or to take the step forward, or to cut people out, or to welcome people in your life, or to have the motivation. Why should I do it? I don't get any return. Why should I need them? So that kind of feeling could come. So hold on, hold on till the middle of February. Let the sun move in to your fourth house, okay? Because it's going to move into Aquarius, which becomes your fourth house. So then the sun, but again, it's going to create problem in the home front because wherever the sun goes, it burns. But it brings good result, but it burns. Okay. So what you got to focus on instead is focus on Saturn. What is Saturn? Saturn is your karma, your work. why you are sent in the world what are the things that you sent to the world to suffer focus on that if you have to suffer in something if you're going through some bad things just take it as destiny because karma is destiny that is saturn so saturn is good saturn will give you results provided you accept what it's giving you first so learn to accept things that it's giving you learn to accept the lemons it's throwing at you then you will know why the lemons are thrown and how you can make money with the lemons okay so take the energy of saturn and work with it also focus on yourself first house so it's time you focus on yourself what are the things that you have been doing wrong what are the things that you can improve in yourself how is it that people look at up do people look up to you or people look down on you do people run away from you or people come attracted to you so look at those things evaluate those things okay so scorpio as i said i felt a very very strong spiritual uh, kind of reading vibe i'm getting from your cards so maybe this is the month for you to focus on your spirituality your inner knowledge because you start with the hierophant you're ending with the hermit so this is a big spiritual change for you this month okay all right so scorpio if you want a personal reading because you've just ended the two and a half uh period of uh, if you're a scorpio moon or you've just ended the two and a half period of saturn third phase which we call uh, sari sati so you've just ended that so now there will be big changes in you and new things coming towards you so If you want a personal reading, astrological reading, whatever you can check aminervatera.com else I'll be back with your love and finance readings. You can check there and see you around. Bye.